Amazon Web Services, AWS. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Amazon Web Services. You're going to get started with Amazon Web Services in this video. You're going to create your first resource on Amazon Web Service and you get yourself to discover many amazing things about Amazon Web Services. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and make sure you keep the notification bell to get all our most recent content. Hi! Welcome to DevOps with Mike. In this channel, we take our time to introduce you to all the concepts around cloud computing, how to get yourself up a brace with cloud computing, how to get yourself ready for your first job as a cloud engineer or as a solutions architect, or how to get yourself ready as a DevOps engineer. In this video, I'll take our time to detailly explain to you concepts around Amazon Web Services. You get to know about the very first things or what Amazon is all about, what their services are all about, what services are there for you. You're going to learn about your certifications, specific certifications you can get before your first job. And then you're also going to know how to get an account to get yourself started. Some people want to practice on Amazon. Some people want to start doing things. Some people want to navigate how the entire platform is. You are going to create a pretty account which you can use to get yourself ready for your first job on AWS. Before we get started with Amazon Web Services, I would like to explain to you what cloud computing is all about. Cloud computing is the provisioning of resources. You buy in servers, you buy in storage, you buy in database spaces, or whatever the case may be, provisioning of resources over the internet. The internet we make it call or we call it cloud. So cloud computing is the process where you can buy resources on demand in the internet. When we talk about on demand, we mean if a company needs a particular capacity for their applications, a cap particular capacity for their workload, they don't need to buy those resources and put in their office. With cloud computing, you just go to the cloud, whatever the provider might be, you get those resources and you get yourself started. And with a click, you can get yourself resources which would have taken you longer time to deliver in your office space or longer time to get from one country to another. Cloud computing has given many companies the opportunity to provide different variety of services across different regions. That is why Amazon as one of the biggest players have what we call Amazon Web Services. There are other cloud providing platforms like Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, IBM Cloud, Alibaba Cloud. Amazon Web Services is one of the most renowned cloud providers globally. With Amazon Web Service, you can get yourself a new career in IT that will give you $100,000 annually as a pay. Now, I'll take you through some of the cloud computing job offers that you can find on the internet and you will see for yourself the opportunities you have. Now, if you are to search some of the top 10 cloud or average salaries of cloud computing earners on the internet, you will see that cloud computing gives people the opportunity to earn decent wage as a cloud practitioner or as someone who's master Amazon Web Services, you can occupy several roles like cloud ad, cloud architect, cloud data scientist, cloud consultant, cloud engineer, cloud automation engineer, software engineer, cloud network engineer, whatever the case may be. And as you can see, we have different average career earnings or salaries which you can make as any of those roles, ranging from $138,000 annually to $72,000 annually. Yes. You too can end that with Amazon Web Service or any other cloud. There are many people who want to get started in the cloud journey. But they ask themselves, how do I get started? Which technology do I learn first? What's important for me to know first? So, we are going to take our time in this video to give you the benefits of learning or starting with Amazon Web Service. Now, Amazon Web Service is easy to use. If you have to search on your, on your browser or whatever the case may be, you can check Amazon Web services and you now you can browse your tab you see the different or depending on where you're browsing you can see cloud computing service amazon web service and pay this amazon web service is actually one of the most ranked cloud providers globally so it is very necessary for you to start your cloud journey with most companies big techies big banks jb morgan deloitte apple itself netflix all the big companies you think of they have their resources on amazon that is why it's very important for you to start learning Amazon Web Service as it gets started for your cloud journey. As far as you getting yourself fit for the Amazon Web Service is concerned, I will recommend a good number of resources that you can use to get yourself started. One of the very first resources that I use while starting my journey as uh, Amazon 
or, or enthusiasts was for me to go through a free course which Amazon has, AWS Skill Builder. Now this course gives you an introductory idea of the resources which Amazon has ranging from, uh, as you can see, some of the resources which Amazon has ranging from compute in the cloud, global infrastructure. Yeah, Amazon global infrastructure is where they have their servers. We're talking about cloud, we're talking about the internet, but they actually have these resources in physical locations. Amazon calls them availability zones. We have resources in Europe, Asia, Canada, wherever these resources are found, they call them availability zones. So Amazon has this global infrastructure where you can find all these, their resources in their availability zones. You can also see network in the cloud where you know how to connect resources between regions, how to get your resources ready for your clients to use, how to make the client and the servers or the client and the computers communicate together. And you also see storage offers which Amazon has, databases, you see how Amazon secure information in the cloud, you see Amazon pricing and support, migration into the cloud, the cloud journey, and a lot more. With this free course, AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials. You can enroll in a course here and once you enroll, you'll be able to get yourself ready. You will learn the new technologies and you can get yourself started with AWS. Learning AWS is not enough. You can go through the course, but it's important for you to get your first certification. And I'll tell you some of the very important certification which Amazon offers. Well, a certification just actually proves that you have a mastery of the concept. As far as certification is concerned, Amazon offers a wide range of certifications beginning from the very basic certification, the Amazon Cloud Practitioner. With the Cloud Practitioner, you just tell employers that, yeah, I know what I'm doing, I know what the cloud is all about, I know where the resources are found, I know how to provision resources, I know that global infrastructure, that's the essentials. After you've done your essentials, the next is the Associate. There are, very, there are different associate certification which Amazon offers. You can have DevOps associate, you can have solutions architect associate, you can have security associate, whatever the case might be. You can go to Amazon certification page and you see all their various certifications. We have foundational, which is the cloud practitioner. We can have associate, we have solutions architect associate, we have developer associate, and we have systems administrator. And then for this professional, after you've been an associate, you can go on to further specialize and be a professional where we have solutions I take professional or DevOps engineer professional. After your professional certification, you might want to specialize. That is where you can have maybe data, data analyst specialist, database speciality, machine learning, security, SAP on AWS. So all these are various certifications which you can get. And guess what? Amazon offers 50% discount on each certification you take. That is to say, once you get your solutions architect, you have 50% discount for the next certification which you start. And with the $100, you can start your cloud practitioner. Now, that's just the basic of AWS certifications. But is it okay to end with certifications? Will certifications get you your job? I don't think so. There are many other things which you need to learn, hands-on skill, hands-on training on how to provision those instances or how to provision those resources in the cloud. On Amazon Web Service, Amazon gives you the opportunity to practice for 12 months free on their platform with the free tier. And with the free tier, you can go to Amazon, you can create an account, and with the free tier account, you will be able to provide resources in the cloud. You can get yourself started. So with our Amazon free tier, all you need to do is to search AWS, you then go to free tier or sign up on Amazon. And once you click on the sign up, you see free tier where you can create an account which you use for free. 12 months free for you to learn Amazon Web Service. Once you sign in, all you need to do is to create an account. Once you take create an account, you will fill the form, put all your credentials, your banking details, your address, and once you fill all those forms, a notification will be sent to you through your email for you to confirm that email. Once the email confirmation is done, boom, you have access to your AWS account which you can use for practice. That's just Amazon's bundle for you to get started with Amazon Web Services. We are going to take out some time to rapidly introduce you to some of the platforms which you can use to know about AWS jobs. Yes, we talk so much about AWS, but now it's time for you to know if there are actually opportunities for you. Mind you, these job opportunities are not for people in a particular location. You can have jobs in the United States, you can have jobs in Europe, you can have jobs in Africa, you can have jobs 
Anywhere you are in Asia, anywhere you are, you can work remote and that's one of the advantages of learning Amazon Web Services. You have the opportunity to work from home. You can take interviews, you can work from home, you can submit your resume and once your employer is interested in your skill set, you have the opportunity to get interviewed and if you match the requirement of the interviewer, then you get yourself your first job. In my next video, I'll be taking out time to introduce you to some of the job search platforms where you can go to actually see all the available job offers for you. In this video, I'll just take you through some of the very easy platforms which you can use to get your jobs. We have the very first platform which you can go to check Amazon Web Services Jobs. You type AWS Cloud Engineer on Glassdoor. Glassdoor will give you several opportunities near you, remote, close to your locality. So we have, for example, here we have uh, Cloud Engineer, $105,000 to $120,000 annually. We have Cloud Infrastructure Engineer, we have Software Engineer. We have cloud operations engineers. So this average results for earners who are having the skill on Amazon Web Services. We also have another job search platform called Dice. All the description of this or all the links to these various job search platforms are in the description. Make sure you go to the description to get the links to these job search platforms. We also have some of the job opportunities here on Dice. And we also have the opportunity to freelance on Hogwarts. Upworks is equally a freelance site where you can get there to freelance and work remote from wherever you are. So that's the opportunity for you. What are you waiting for? Make sure you get yourself started right now. You can get yourself started now and learn, and learn yourself your first job in six months. In the next video, we're going to take our time to see how you can get yourself ready for your first job in six months. Equally, we'll take our time in the next video to walk you through the Amazon Web Service platform Amazon resources, Amazon pricing models, and a lot more about Amazon Web Services. If you love this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to like all our videos. If there's anything you want me to cover in the video, make sure you leave that in the description and in the comment section, and I will take out time to create a video to clear your doubts. It's there on the mic. Make sure you're the best candidate for your next role. Thank you.